What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, shout out to Queens of the Ring, Nick J and Bassiana. They conducted an interview today and they got undefeated lightweight superstar title contender, Frank the Ghost Martin, who has 18 wins, no losses, no draws, 12 wins by way of knockout, 20. Eight years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm each, and he's a southpaw. They got him to finally break his silence regarding the situation that took place between himself and undefeated Olympic silver medalist, two division world champion, former unified super featherweight WBC WBO world champion, now lightweight superstar title contender, Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson is 20 wins, no losses, no draw. 10 wins by way of knockout. Uh, he is uh, 26 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch arm each, and he too is a southpaw. Now, Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin was in negotiations uh, to face off against one another for the vacant World Boxing Council, better known as the WBC vacant belt that has been vacated by undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who is now uh, 30 wins, no loss, no draw. 15 wins by way of knockout. 24 years of age, five foot nine with a 72 inch arm reach. As Devin Haney is going to uh, move up to a junior welterweight now and challenge two-time uh, world champion, who is the WBC reigning junior welterweight world champion superstar boxer Regis Ruguru Progre. Regis Ruguru Progre um, and Devin Haney are going to fight December 9th for Devin Haney's excuse me, for Regis Progress WBC title in San Francisco, California at the Chase Arena where the Golden State Warriors uh, play. And this is Devin Haney's first big fight back at home in the Bay Area. He's from the Bay Area. So with that said, Devin Haney has been removed of his duties as the WBC lightweight champion. And so now you had Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson possibly going to a purse bid, okay? to fight for the vacant WBC title. The purse bid was scheduled for September 5th, but they agreed to all the terms and didn't need to go to a purse bid. So the WBC president, Mauricio Suleiman, board of 32 members, removed the purse bid off the table. And they went with the, the, the fact that they have, you know, uh, um, uh, agreement in place, okay? The date was November 16th, Las Vegas, Nevada, on a Thursday, the weekend, the week of uh, Formula One car racing to open up in Vegas, which is going to get a lot of attraction in Vegas, okay? And so Frank Martin then decided that he was pulling uh, his, you know, uh, um, his bid off the table. He no longer was interested in the fight because... Like, like he's getting ready to tell you, he started to focus on uh, the money, right? He There was money that was made available to Shakur Stevenson that Frank Martin didn't feel like it was a fair shake. So uh, Frank Martin, he finally breaks his silence. Now, I knew this because I personally had talked to Frank Martin, but it was up to Frank Martin to uh, speak this, you know, to the public. It wasn't in, you know, uh, in my right to do so. So Frank Martin states that, the money that he was going to get compared to the money that Shakur Stevenson was going to get, it wasn't, you know, uh, in his favor. He was going to get the scheduled million dollars, as everybody top rank reported that, uh, that he was going to get million dollars, which is four times the amount of his biggest payday, which was 250000 uh for his biggest payday uh, in his last fight. He received $250,000. So he's going to get a uh, uh, million dollars, a million dollars. Is going to be four times the amount but as he's going to explain a million dollars is not a million dollars when you have to pay fees trainers and things of that nature and that Shakur Stevenson was actually scheduled to get three million dollars so Frank Martin is saying uh, when he saw the money at the end of the day he realized this wasn't suitable for him and he asked for a bigger number and they were unwilling to oblige him so he pulled away from the fight now Everybody's saying that Shakur Stevenson and Top Rank is making up stories, but Frank Martin has confirmed in the interview everything they stated. 
They stated that they was going to give him a guaranteed purse of a million dollars. He said that was true. They said that they had an agreement in place to fight uh, date, venue and location. He said that was true. He said that they even had a location, a possibility of fighting in Newark, New Jersey, where Shakur Stevenson has had a few fights in his hometown in Newark, New Jersey. So he has confirmed all these things and he has now confirmed that the reason he pulled off the table was because the money wasn't right in favor of him. OK, so we got to stop saying that Shakur Stevenson is making up stories. But let's just listen to what Frank Martin had to say. And shout out once again to the Queens of the Ring, Nick J and Bassiana. So, but on my end, verbally, I agreed, you know, got a call, asked him what I thought about the fight. So you heard him. He said, verbally on my end, I agreed. OK, now one thing here is interesting to note is that he says that he wasn't aware of the monetary part of the negotiations until after he agreed to everything. Well, the first thing that any fighter is looking for is the monetary, is the money. So I don't know how he got that far and was unaware of the money. Or he got that far and was unaware of the money Shakur was going to get. Not the money that was available to him. He agreed to the money that was available to him. But then once he found out what Shakur was going to get, then he stated this is a huge fight and he wanted to get more money. You know, it's for the WBC and all that. Mm -hmm. I agree to it. You know, I'm like, it's a, it's a green light. You know what I mean? So after that, you know me a green, so I ain't never know what the money was. I ain't know none of that. What happened was... So he said he didn't know what the money was. That's false. He did know what the money was. He knew what he was going to get. He just wasn't aware of what Shakur Stevenson was going to get. And once he was made aware of what Shakur Stevenson was going to get, then he changed his mind. Everything came about. I figured out what that money was and I wasn't cool with it. You know what I mean? I wanted more. So that's... So as he stated, I figured out what the money was and I wasn't cool with it. Not the money he was receiving... Overall, the pot that was going to be available, he wasn't aware. That is not a Shakur Stevenson problem. That is not a top rank problem. That is a Frank Martin's team problem. Not Frank Martin himself, but that's his team problem. The team of Frank Martin should have been aware of what was available, the entire pot, the pot in its entirety, before he agreed to anything. Again, that is not a Shakur Stevenson problem that is a Frank Martin's team problem that's why the fight didn't fall through because it was, it was all, everything I, I agreed to everything you know what I mean as far as the stipulations as he said he agreed to everything so if he agreed to everything he agreed to that purse he just was unaware of what Shakur Stevenson was going to get Thing. You know, from it being on ESPN to, you know, the, the, the where it was going to be at. Like, they were saying it could have been in Vegas or it could have been where, where dude from. I agree. To as he said, as I said, it could have been in Vegas or Newark. And you know, the only thing I agree with was that money. Oh, because look, and that's another thing that's been killing me. People like, just take the money. They like, just take the money. This show, this show, first time getting paid a million dollars and this and that. That million dollars ain't no fucking million dollars. Once you take out taxes, once you taking out them training fees and them fees you got to pay. But people, the fans want to see the fight. You know what I mean? They want to see the fight. But them, they ain't understanding that a fight this big, a motherfucker got to get paid. Can't one side just eat. You know, I don't give a fuck what a nigga. So, as he said, a fight this big, it can't be one-sided. Again, he agreed to the purse. He agreed to the stipulations. It's just that once he was made aware of how much was in the pot in its totality, then he changed his mind. That is, again, not a Shakur Stevenson problem. That is a Frank Martin's team problem. They should have made him aware, and they should have been aware of the total pot from the very beginning and how the pot was going to be divvied up. This ain't one side is about to eat way more than the other. Shit, I didn't put in work, too. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, what I was asking for, it wasn't nothing that was that was uh, outrageous that a motherfucker could have said, oh, I outpriced myself or none of that. Like what he what he was getting paid and what I asked for was was reasonable. You know what I mean? 
So I just feel like, I just feel like the whole thing is like, they, they could have just gave me what I asked for. You know what I mean? And it wasn't enough. Which is 1000% true. When he realized what the what the pot was in its totality, and he felt like he was being treated unfairly as far as the the money being divvied up, Shakur Stevenson's team, top ranking Bob Arum and ESPN, they could have gave Frank Martin more of what he asked for. Now he didn't specific he didn't make it specific what number he was asking for, but he did say that Shakur told him he was getting three million dollars. Now they could have upped the ante, and Bob Arum himself told me that he thought the million dollars was a, a, a far fetch already because they didn't feel like he was worth a million dollars seeing as though he's only made $250,000 in his uh, biggest payday. And prior to that, when he fought Michelle Ali Rivera, he made $75,000. So Bob Arum didn't even feel like he was worth the million dollars that they was paying him. So they definitely wasn't going to up it to over a million dollars. So let's keep listening. And then the fight could have happened. It, it was that simple. The fight could have happened. It's all about the money. That's, that's cap. And if, if and if he was getting paid, what he was get if he was getting paid, what he say he was getting paid. You know, Devin, Devin Haney offered him, from my understanding, they offered him like eight million. Which is completely true. If like he's stating that, uh, if Devin Haney now Devin Haney, we we figured out that the eight million wasn't a real number. But Devin Haney was offering him his highest payday. And Shakur said that the number that they was offering Shakur was was capped because he was receiving more money than the money that they was offering for him to fight Devin Haney. Well, if he's only getting three million for this fight with Frank Martin, he was going to get more than that with 25 percent to fight uh, Devin Haney. That's one thousand percent true. Right. So fight for undisputed. Then you got our fight. We fighting for. A, a vacant title, you know, it's WBC, it, it, it's big, you know what I mean, but a vacant title, and then everything, everything in his favor, you know what I mean, all I asked for was a, was an extra little, uh, you know, and they couldn't give me that, you know. Now, he said that, all he asked for was an extra little, uh, but he didn't give a specific number, he just said he wanted a, a upgrade from the one million dollars they was offering. If he, if he, what he told me he was getting paid, if he was getting paid that, he capping about a whole lot. He capping about the money, the money with Devin, what he said he was getting paid, and all that. You know what I mean? That's cap. If he, if, if he was only getting three million dollars, you know, and I was getting an M, that's what he was. That's what he said he was getting. You know what I mean? That's cap. You feel so me? you heard what he said. He said if he was getting three million dollars, let's listen. You know, and I was getting an M. That's what he was. That's what he said he was. Cap. If 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 he was only getting three million dollars. You know, and I was getting the M. That's what he was. That's what he said he was getting. You know what I mean? That's cat. You feel me? For sure. Um, all y'all, all of them was going to know. You know why the fight ain't fought through. It ain't had nothing to do with ducking. I ain't never turned down no opponent mm -hmm. ever sent me. You know, like I. Didn't so there you have it. So he turned down the fight because he wanted an upcharge, from what he realized that they was offering him, to what the pot was actually uh, in the pot in its totality and what Shakur was going to make. Period. So he turned down the fight for more money. And if he wasn't made aware of what the pot was in its totality, then he shouldn't agree to everything without knowing what the a pot was to begin with. That's a that's a fault on the part of Frank Martin and his team for not being aware of what was in the pot in its totality. And they should have let it go to a purse fit. Period. So let's see how this unfolds and moves uh, and plays out. Shakur Stevenson is now going to fight Edwin De Los Santos. And Frank Martin says he has a fight coming up in December. So let's see how this all plays out. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.